Hi out there in the YouTube world and welcome back to my channel. It's me again, the Puzzle Master, and today we're talking about Virgo the Vixen. So, Vixen, what does that mean? Well, according to Google and Dictionary.com, a Vixen can either be a female fox or a quarrelsome and spiteful woman. Huh. So, yeah. I had to pick something with V, and that was the first thing that came into my mind. So I was like, Virgo the Vixen. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you know, bringing that fox nature in mind, they, they tend to be very sensual and wanting to help people. They're, they're the harvest. Virgo the Virgin. They, they represent the time of the year when we... we we reap what we sow, and, and we get what we give. It's, it's the, you know, Virgo always holds the wheat. It's got a big thing of barley or something in her, in her arms. The big basket, you know. It's like autumn, like when, when there's the pumpkins and fall. So, yeah. Um, they can be a little spiteful sometimes, though, because Virgos always want to help. But they also, they want to see how to help. Like, and sometimes the best way to help is to just let be. Like, to accept the divine plan and that everything is going to be okay. And that it doesn't necessarily need your intervention. Like, if we imagine the grandeur of the infinity of time, you're not going to change the universe. But the universe is going to change you. Because I think someday, Virgos will all learn to just kind of accept things as they are. Because if they are out of their control, they're out of their control. And there's no reason for it to upset them as it does. Because Virgos can see flaws in things really easily. Like, I mean, so if you... And in some instances... It's undebatable and it's completely correct. Like, I mean, if there was like a painting or something on the wall and it's like askew a little bit, well, there's no debating that it's askew, right? But the problem might be that, well, what if the person who hung the painting on the wall liked it that way? They wanted it crooked. That might really piss off the Virgo and they'll just be looking at the painting on the wall and being like, but I don't fucking like it like that. But Virgos, Virgos, if it's not your painting, it's not your decision. So the same with if it's not your body, if it's not your life, it's really not your decision. And the whole like judge not lest you judge yourself. A lot of times when they externalize anger or flaws in other people, they're really just casting that upon themselves which is going to bring unhappiness. And I'm sorry, Virgos. Um, sorry to say this, but it, I do find this really true. Um, of all of the signs, if we are just to isolate the sign completely on its own, which, as I said before, is impossible to do because everyone is scattered about. And you have a sun and moon, Mars, Mercury, Venus. You have a midheaven an ascendant, a descendant, like there's so much to it. It's impossible to be all one sign. But if we're just talking about Virgo, it's probably one of the least happy signs just because they can see flaw in things. And that can be a gift if they use it upon themselves because then they can manifest perfection to, the, to what they perceive it to be. But if they try to perfect the world, it's a losing battle. It's like trying to build sandcastles on a beach. They will just be washed away and forgotten. So build something in you that's lasting, not a sandcastle on a beach. Build a giant brick house, a big castle made out of solid granite, the foundation which is in your heart which is the only thing that you have the power over to change or any control over. Other people are not in your control. And so let it go when it comes to trying to control others. So, because many people, 
like Pisces and Aries and Sagittarius. A lot of those signs really hate being told what to do or to try to conform to things and will actually run away when, when confronted with things or confronted with change that's forced upon them. Um, but yeah, Virgos are really loving, kind people. They, they want to help and it's not their fault. That's just how they are. So know that, like if they're pointing out flaws in you and they're just trying to, they will only do that if they love you. Because if you're a stranger, you're a stranger. Why, why would they care what happens, right? Like, but if you're someone dear and someone that means a lot to them, they only do it to help. So try to appreciate their help. And Virgos also know that if people don't appreciate your help, they're not worth it. They're not worth your time for that. So, because you could be spending that time building your own granite castle. Uh, so, don't worry about helping other people so much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm going to cut the video now and go on six minutes. So, uh, it's my longest one so far of the series. But give me a thumbs up. And I'm sorry if the information in this seemed a little bit too negative, but... Just had to be honest, okay? So, at least honest to the best of my ability. But, uh, yeah, subscribe if you're new. Leave me some feedback if you agreed or disagreed with me. Uh, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. So, namaste, and have a wonderful day or night. Mwah.